Okay, now we're going to get into the basics of editing in iMovie. So getting started, the basics of iMovie are you sift through your raw footage, you find the bits that you want, and you kind of drag them into the canvas area. You arrange your raw footage how you'd like people to see it. So what I want is a bit that kind of shows Tom's adversary here, so he's eating this bug thing. And all you do, just like in a word processing program, is click and drag over the, the section that you want to select. And that is kind of represented by that yellow selection box. Once you've selected the footage you want, all you do is drag and drop it into the canvas area. As simple as select, drag and drop. I'm going to choose another bit from this side angle now. This is the event happening, I'm just clicking and dragging. Celebrates at the end. There you go. So it selected all that. So there are two clips there. So the first thing you might want to do once you've got your footage roughly in place is maybe trim some different bits. So when it comes to the camera changing angle there, I actually want to get rid of that. So all I'm going to do is select it and press delete. That's how you trim regions that have already been imported. Select and delete, just like in Word or something like that. So now I've tightened my footage up, I've got it how I want. Now I'm going to add a bit of polish. You might notice when I hover over a region or a clip, there's a blue cog. Now anything that you import into this project area will have parameters you can edit by clicking on a cog icon. The cog is your key. Um, so let's have a look at some of these options. And the clip, you've got um, some different video effects and audio effects, speed, if you want to do some fast mo or slow mo, and you can even reverse the direction, that's kind of cool. Image stabilization, if your cameraman is a bit of a rookie, that'll smooth that out. Um, video, we've got different like um, color grading options, if you want to adjust the exposure, brightness, contrast. This is useful if, say you've got, like in this clip we've got a bit of a, a yellowy tint, you can use the color wheel to kind of balance that out. Uh, or if your footage is a bit dark or washed out, you can use the saturation and brightness controls. Audio, volume, most important one to help balance audio levels between clips. Um, so anyway, you've got a lot of different options there. Say you've applied all those tweaks, sorted your levels and colours out between your clips, then you might want to add some transitions. So if you look into this middle right area, there are a lot of buttons you're going to find very interesting here. First of all, a transition is a way of moving between two objects, a transition. In this case, moving between two clips. I'm just going to drag the standard old cross dissolve transition between my two clips. Press play and you notice there's a lovely little um, fade between the two. If I want to change that, I'm going to go to the cog, as we do for every change that we want to make. And I'm going to maybe choose cross zoom instead. And you notice it's got more of a kind of crazy dramatic effect going on there. Say I want to make a bit of a snazzy intro. You click on the Maps, Backgrounds and Animatics icon. And you've got a number of just um, plain backdrops or world things if you go on a holiday and you want to show where you've been to. I'm going to drag a curtain to the start of the project. I want to add a bit of excitement. And I'm then going to click on the Title Browser. I'm just going to grab some plain old text to put here. I'm just going to say Tom eating a bug. Says it all. Nothing fancy, but for the purpose of this demo, it does the job good. I'm going to go back to transitions. I'm going to. I want it to fade in from black at the start, and I want that to last about a second. I'm going to make sure I deselect applies to all transitions, or I'll lose work that I've done on previous transitions. So let's watch that fade in. Tom eating the bug, says it all. And now I want to get a transition between that clip as well. So I'm going to drag a blur in. Eating the bug, blurs between the two. And then I'm going to want it to fade out the end. Now something you can do, if you select a transition you want to put that in later on, go to edit, copy, right click, paste. Yeah, just like in a word processor, or any other app for that matter, iMovie does have copy and paste. Don't forget about it, because you can use it on pretty much anything, and it will save you tons of time. Say I want to add some music in to finish it off, I'm going to click on the little music icon. 
I'm just going to drag this music in here. I don't even know what it sounds like. <laughs> 44. Oh, wow. Wow. Interesting. I've probably gone for a rocky kind of sound effect, but that's kind of cool. I like that. So there we go. We've made a basic video in iMovie. We've got transitions. We've got text. We've got Tom eating a bug. Great. So next, we're going to look at how we share the video we've made with the rest of the world.